Hello everyone, I'm Apurbu the Book Hunter back again with another video and today I've got a very interesting book for you. Uh, this is a novel called Celestial Bodies written by an Omani's author Joka Lahati and this is translated into English by Marilyn Booth. As you can see right on the top corner of this cover uh, that this book is the recipient of the Man Book International Prize in 2019. In fact, the whole shortlist of the award uh, was dominated by women authors which is a very interesting direction the whole uh, canonized fiction scenario is heading to and I'm really feeling positive about it. Uh, with, let me tell you a little bit about the plot of the book so it's actually um, not much of a what you can say a substantial storyline this book basically it's a uh, the story is told through um, uh, in a non-linear fashion through the perspective of multiple characters and they focus on this uh, family of three daughters uh, consisting of Maya, Kaula and Asma and it's about uh, their parents, their in-laws, their husbands, their children, um, their neighbors, the people that lived with them and uh, people that are related to those people and uh, the people li in Oman living in exiles and slaves and uh, many other people. So basically through their narrative which is non-linear and it skips a lot of skip like 10 years back and forth to give you a picture of the Omani's history a piece of Omani's history the culture and their uh, society and and, and uh, you realize that you are you, know, you get a lot of information about their um, Omani's culture and heritage and their lifestyle their relationships their um, social hierarchy and stuff like that and uh, from you know people traveling in, on camelback to people driving Lexus by the seaside it's uh, really a great way it's a uh, long way uh, in fact so uh, the um, in the characters themselves um, even though it is focused on the daughters the most important character would be uh, Maya's husband Abdullah and I'm going to tell you a little uh, about him later on but uh, basically it's a character driven story and uh, I also I don't think I really uh, got the part about celestial bodies and their connection with the characters in here there is a hint, there are hints and but it's kind of vague and the title is I don't think it's a fitting title I, I, I'm not sure about the title really otherwise uh, you know uh, for reading experience I'd say it's an excellent book it's a beautifully written amazing book really uh, honestly I am you know first when I first picked up the book I was thinking like okay so it's a Arab country there's going to be oppression and a lot of capitulation on that but as it turns out it wasn't really that it was about a lot of strained relationship and it appears that the position of women in the Omani society is very important uh, and then you know I have thoughts so. <laughs> and it's all about strained relationships and the most uh, important theme in all the book in in the whole book is basically dominating parents authoritative parents and the way their kids struggle with that for example maya just she doesn't want to live under her mother's authoritative uh, shadow but the but at the same time abdallah he's got a very unhealthy devotion and affection towards his father he hates him uh, he's very cruel and all that but at the same time he has a blind love for his father and the kind of borders on masochism which uh, well uh, and uh, my frankly guys Abdullah is perhaps one of the he's like a misunderstood mistreated and completely exploited character in the, I won't say exploited but he's a misunderstood character in there there are lots of characters in there and even within the uh, scanty scope of few pages these characters are really well sketched, sketched out and the narrative is like absolutely beautiful the way the author has chuckled with her characters and their relationships and the way she has introduced us to the Omanese culture and uh, society and their and their history the pieces of their history is uh, it's just wonderful it's really great and in fact you know it's, it's a really fresh kind of a narrative and in a long time I haven't read such a narrative it's great it's absolutely fabulous and I am really amazed by its uh, simplicity and the translation too the translation is absolutely amazing and you don't feel like you're um, you know something is left out uh, just erased between the lines you don't feel like that it's absolutely there it's translated wonderfully no questions about that guys if you 
you know ask for recommendations i would say that i can recommend this book to anybody really this book is written in such simple language it just written in a simple lucid way and even through you know even though there is not much of a violence in there there are subtle hints and there's a strong undercurrent of violence in over you know underneath all the uh, the facade of the story and basically you could palpate that thing and it, i think that's really propels the whole book forward and you know it's very interesting and really honestly guys um, i recommend this book to anyone but if you are living in india and you want to buy this book then i would really recommend you that you buy this book um as soon as possible because you know the price of the book was 770 indian rupees um, one month ago but when the price was announced the award was announced the price become half and i think it's because of that publicity that the price is reduced and uh, when the publicity dies the price will shoot up again because this is not exactly the most popular book in the market so if you're in india buy this book now uh, or you will have to pay the, you know much uh, higher dear prices later on so guys uh, this is of the book hunter signing up for today i'll be back with another video as soon as possible and meanwhile i hope you enjoyed this book because i thoroughly enjoyed this book uh, that's it for today